What's going on screen printers? Uh, we're doing a video today on smoothing screens as well as how to flatten out your prints. A lot of you guys print flash print white inks and you know when you print flash print a white it builds up on the t-shirt. The more it builds up the thicker it gets. Well you got to print flash print a white because you want the bottom layer to be opaque so when you put other colors on top it looks good. Same, thing, same way of painting the, the wall in your house. Got to prime the wall before you put another color on top. So what we're going to do today and show you today is a couple different ways to smooth out or flatten out the wh thick white underbase print. Now when you're printing colors on top of this, the way to do that is to use a smoothing screen. So what I've done here is I've coated this screen completely all the way with emulsion. Didn't even do it in a dark room. I coated it sat it outside for two or three hours, let it dry and expose at the same time so it hardens up. What I'm gonna do with the smoothing screen is add a curable reducer to that screen and now no image is gonna go through the screen. And that's the point. We want to smooth out this white print after we print it. So I'll put some curable reducer in the screen and then I'll show you guys how to smooth out that shirt. I'm gonna print my standard white plastisol. I'm gonna print flash print it and I'm going to flash it again and that's going to give me a thicker deposit of ink. We will then flash it this also helps with very fibrous shirts. Smoothing screen will also help with that as well. You want to lay down the ink as flat as possible and especially your customers if they get a t-shirt that's got a lot of white ink down it just feels really thick this is able to combat and help that. Flash time should be around 15 seconds. So you can see here's my print flash print. I'm gonna flash it one more time so that I can use a smoothing screen on top. Next, I'm gonna move on to my smoothing screen. Again, all I did was coat the screen front and back. When you're doing this, you don't need a lot off contact. You want a little bit of separation. You can see I have nothing in my screen. That's not gonna be ideal cause when you're trying to print, your squeeze is gonna stick. So what I'm gonna use is curable reducer. Now you can use kind of any reducer you might like, but the reason why I'm using curable instead of like a clear reducer is because clear reducer is really, really thin and it's gonna run everywhere. So I'm gonna use a curable reducer which has a little bit thicker consistency so that it won't, won't allow it to run all over the screen. And you don't need a lot when you're doing this. You wanna just make sure you cover the screen there's gonna be no reducer to go through this screen because there's no image. Again, that's why it's a smoothing screen. No need to print flash print, no need to flood. Just get the reducer all over the screen. Apply pressure. It'll allow you to flatten out the print a little bit better. Using a smoothing screen can get a little bit of tedious and uh, kind of hard work. Smoothing screen is ideal for automatic presses because the automatic press is doing the work for you the entire time. You have a one color white logo on a dark color garment and you have a heat press at home. After you print flash print, you'll flash again and you could take this, this to a heat press and that can also aid in a flattening. Smoothing screen works for the printers who do not have a heat press so if you're gonna have if you have a heat press at home I would print flash print flash and then actually skip the smoothing screen and go straight to the heat press if you want to flatten out this logo and make it a little bit smoother but if you don't have the heat press at home you can try the smoothing screen like we just showed you a while ago again the smoothing screen is a lot better on automatics because you're not sitting there doing all the work the auto is doing it all for you and it has consistent pressure all the time but we'll show you the heat press method and we're going to do this for 10 12 seconds now clearly you can only do this with one hit wipes because once you pull the shirt off you're off registration which is why you could use a smoothing screen if you have let it cool that's mess up. That's smooth. Sheesh. Definitely. 
There's definitely a considerable difference between the two. So that's another way to smooth out your prints, to not have so much of a hand feel because most Plastol inks will give you that really thick hand feel. Yeah, I'm at 250 degrees. I'm just gonna lightly do it for probably six, seven seconds. Because you're not trying to reheat the entire image. You're not trying to over cure it because we've already ran it through the, dry, through the dryer to cure it. Now we're just trying to flatten out the image a little bit better. And if you feel it, it almost feels like a heat transfer. So that's a couple ways to smooth out your prints. Again, we used the heat press and a smoothing screen. There's other ways out there. There's also roller squeegees that you can use. There's some automatic presses that'll have roller squeegees. There's also manual roller squeegees that we sell. And those, those are also ways to smooth out your prints. Make the white not feel as thick. Make the whole logo in itself not feel as bulletproof and thick and have such a hand feel like certain Plastol is gonna make you have. Because if you have a five color print, that thing's gonna come out feeling pretty thick. So at the end of those five colors, after you print flash, print your white and print your other five colors, come back and hit up with a smoothing screen. It might not change it a bunch, but you'll definitely feel a small difference with this smoothing screen. The most that you're gonna feel is using a heat press at the very end to smooth out your prints. It'll almost give you like a heat transfer type of feel but it's another way, but most print, some printers might not have a heat press, so you can use a smoothing screen. If you have any other questions, let us know.